Lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender LGBT people can face violence motivated by hateful attitudes towards their sexuality or gender identity. Violence may be executed by the state, as in laws prescribing corporal punishment for homosexual acts see homosexuality laws, or by individuals engaging in intimidation, mobbing, assault, or lynching see gay bashing, trans bashing. Violence targeted at people because of their perceived sexuality can be psychological or physical and can extend to murder. These actions may be motivated by homophobia, lesbophobia, biphobia, transphobia, and may be influenced by cultural, religious, or political mores and biases. Currently, homosexual acts are legal in almost all Western countries, and in many of these countries, violence against LGBT people is classified as a hate crime, with such violence often being connected with conservative or religious leaning ideologies which condemn homosexuality, or being perpetrated by individuals who associate homosexuality with being weak weak, ill, feminine, or immoral. Outside the West, many countries, particularly those where the dominant religion is Islam, most African countries excluding South Africa, most Asian countries excluding the LGBT-friendly countries of Israel, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and the Philippines and some former communist countries in Eastern Europe and Central Asia, such as Russia, Poland, Albania, Kosovo, Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina, are currently very dangerous for LGBT people because of discrimination against homosexuals which influences both discriminatory legislation and physical violence. In Europe, the European Union's Employment Equality Framework Directive and Charter of Fundamental Rights offer some protection against sexuality based discrimination. Historically, state sanctioned persecution of homosexuals was mostly limited to male homosexuality, termed sodomy. During the medieval and early modern period, the penalty for sodomy was usually death. During the modern period from the 19th century to the mid-20th century in the Western world, the penalty was usually a fine or imprisonment. There was a drop in locations where homosexual acts remained illegal from 2009 when there were 80 countries worldwide notably throughout the Middle East, Central Asia and in most of Africa, but also in some of the Caribbean and Oceania with five carrying the death penalty to 2016 when 72 countries criminalized consensual sexual acts between adults of the same sex. Brazil is reported to have the world's highest LGBT murder rate, with more than 380 murders in 2017 alone, an increase of 30% compared to 2016. <laughs> State-sanctioned violence Historic The Middle East An early law against sexual intercourse between men is recorded in Leviticus by the Hebrew people, prescribing the death penalty. A violent law regarding homosexual intercourse is prescribed in the Middle Assyrian Law Codes 1075 BCE, stating, If a man lay with his neighbor, when they have prosecuted him and convicted him, they shall lie with him and turn him into a eunuch. In the account given in Tacitus Germania, the death penalty was reserved for two kinds of capital offenses, military treason or desertion was punished by hanging, and moral infamy cowardice and homosexuality, agnavos et imbels et corpore infames, Gordon translates corpore infames as unnatural prostitutes. Tacitus refers to male homosexuality, see David F. Greenberg, The Construction of Homosexuality, p. 242 f. Scholarship compares the later Germanic concept of Old Norse argr, Langobardic arga, which combines the meanings, effeminate, cowardly, homosexual. See Jan Puvel, who were the Hittite Hercules Pesnis, in, A. Eder, eds, O. O. P. R. O. C. F. S. Risch, Walter de Gruyter, 1986, p. 154. <laughs> Europe In Republican Rome, the poorly attested Lex Scantinia penalized an adult male for committing a sex crime against an underage male citizen ingenuous. It is unclear whether the penalty was death or a fine. The law may also have been used to prosecute adult male citizens who willingly took a pathic role in same-sex acts, but prosecutions are rarely recorded and the provisions of the law are vague, as John Boswell has noted. If there was a law against homosexual relations, no one in Cicero's day knew anything about it. 
When the Roman Empire came under Christian rule, all male homosexual activity was increasingly repressed, often on pain of death. In 342 CE, the Christian emperors Constantius and Constance declared same-sex marriage to be illegal. Shortly after, in the year 390 CE, emperors Valentinian II, Theodosius I and Arcadius declared homosexual sex to be illegal and those who were guilty of it were condemned to be publicly burned alive. Emperor Justinian I CE made homosexuals a scapegoat for problems such as famines, earthquakes, and pestilences. Laws and codes prohibiting homosexual practice were in force in Europe from the 4th to the 20th centuries, and Muslim countries have had similar laws from the beginnings of Islam in the 7th century up to and including the present day. Abbasid Baghdad, under the Caliph al-Hadi punished homosexuality with death. During the Middle Ages, the Kingdom of France and the city of Florence also instated the death penalty. In Florence, a young boy named Giovanni di Giovanni (1350–1365) was castrated and burned between the thighs with a red-hot iron by court order under this law. These punishments continued into the Renaissance and spread to the Swiss canton of Zurich. Knight Richard von Hohenberg (died 1482) was burned at the stake together with his lover, his young squire, during this time. In France, French writer Jacques Chausson (1618–1661) was also burned alive for attempting to seduce the son of a nobleman. In 17th century Malta, there was harsh prejudice and laws towards those who were found guilty or speak openly of being involved in same-sex activity. English voyager and author William Lithgow, writing in March 1616, says a Spanish soldier and a Maltese teenage boy were publicly burnt to ashes for confessing to have practiced sodomy together. As a consequence, and fear to similar faith, about a hundred males involved in same-sex prostitution sailed to Sicily the following day. This episode, published abroad by a foreign writer, is the most detailed account of LGBT life during the rule of the order. It represents that homosexuality was still a taboo, but a widespread practice, an open secret, and LGBT-related information was suppressed. In England, the Buggery Act of 1534 made sodomy and bestiality punishable by death. This act was replaced in 1828, but sodomy remained punishable by death under the new act until 1861. The last executions were in 1835. In Nazi Germany, homosexuals were among the groups targeted by the Holocaust see persecution of homosexuals in Nazi Germany and the Holocaust. In 1936, the homosexual Federico Garcia Lorca was executed by right-wing rebels who became Franco's dictatorship in Spain. Hitler's ally, neo-Nazis generally oppose homosexuality to the extent of supporting a renewed persecution the way it took place in Nazi Germany. Being homosexual is equated with being unmasculine and the German word schwul, gay, is used by German neo-Nazis as a curse word. Topic: <inaudible> Contemporary. As of August 2016, 72 countries criminalize consensual sexual acts between adults of the same sex. They are punishable by death in 8 countries. Brunei, Iran, fourth conviction. Mauritania Qatar Saudi Arabia although the maximum punishment for homosexuality is execution the government tends to use other punishments fines prison sentence and whipping unless it feels that homosexuals have challenged state authority by engaging in LGBT social movements Sudan Yemen Parts of Nigeria and Somalia countries where homosexual acts are criminalized but not punished by death by region include Africa Algeria, Angola, Botswana, Burundi, Cameroon, Comoros, Egypt, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Kenya, Liberia, Libya, Malawi, Morocco, Namibia, Nigeria, death penalty in some states, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Somalia, death penalty in some states, South Sudan, Swaziland, Tanzania, Togo, Tunisia, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Burma, Kuwait, Malaysia, Aceh, Maldives, Oman, Pakistan, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Syria, Turkmenistan, United Arab Emirates, Uzbekistan, Gaza Strip under Palestinian Authority America Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadine Pacific Islands 
Kiribati, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Tonga, Tuvalu, Cook Islands, Afghanistan, where such acts remain punishable with fines and a prison sentence, dropped the death penalty after the fall of the Taliban in 2001, who had mandated it from 1996. India criminalized homosexuality until June 2, 2009, when the High Court of Delhi declared Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code invalid. Jamaica has some of the toughest sodomy laws in the world, with homosexual activity carrying a 10 year jail sentence. International human rights organizations such as Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International condemn laws that make homosexual relations between consenting adults a crime. Since 1994, the United Nations Human Rights Committee has also ruled that such laws violated the right to privacy guaranteed in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. LGBT rights by statics LGBT rights by country or territory Topic. Level of criminalization Worldwide, as of September 2018, homosexuality is illegal in 69 or 70 countries if Palestine is included, where homosexuality is illegal in Gaza but legal in West Bank, two disputed territories Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic and Somaliland and one territory Cook Islands by a total of 72 or 73. However, all the countries and territories in the Americas and Oceania where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. The same situation repeat itself in few countries in Asia and Africa. Unenforced penalty 31 countries and 1 territory. Africa 11 countries. Algeria. Angola. Botswana. Burundi. Comoros Eritrea Ghana Mauritius Namibia Sierra Leone Togo Americas all nine countries Antigua and Barbuda Barbados Dominica Grenada Guyana Jamaica St. Kitts and Nevis St. Lucia St. Vincent and the Grenadines Asia, five countries: Bhutan, Lebanon, Myanmar, Pakistan, Singapore, Oceania, all six countries and one territory. Cook Islands, part of the realm of New Zealand. Kiribati, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Tonga, Tuvalu imprisonment, 28 countries and two disputed territories. Africa 17 countries and two disputed territories Cameroon Chad Egypt Ethiopia Guinea Kenya Liberia Libya Malawi Morocco including southern provinces Nigeria Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic disputed territory excluding southern provinces Senegal Somalia Somaliland disputed territory South Sudan Swaziland Tunisia Zimbabwe Asia 11 countries Afghanistan Brunei Kuwait Malaysia Maldives Oman Qatar Syria Turkmenistan United Arab Emirates Uzbekistan up to life imprisonment 5 countries Africa 4 countries Gambia Tanzania Uganda Zambia Asia 1 country Bangladesh death penalty 5 countries Africa 2 countries Mauritania Sudan Asia 3 countries Iran Saudi Arabia Yemen Topic. Africa In Africa, homosexuality is illegal in 34 of 54 countries Algeria, Angola, Botswana, Burundi, Cameroon, Chad, Comoros. 
Egypt, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Kenya, Liberia, Libya, Malawi, Mauritania, Mauritius, Morocco, Namibia, Nigeria, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Somalia, South Sudan, Sudan, Eswatini, Swaziland, Tanzania, Togo, Tunisia, Uganda, Zambia and Zimbabwe and in two disputed territories Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic and Somaliland by a total of 36. However, is legal in 20 countries, in all eight territories and in a few countries of Africa where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. The Americas In the Americas, homosexuality is illegal in 9 of 35 countries Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines by a total of 9. However is legal 26 countries, in all 21 territories, and in all the countries in the Americas where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. Asia In Asia, homosexuality is illegal in 20 of 50 countries Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Brunei, Iran, Kuwait, Lebanon, Malaysia, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Syria, Turkmenistan, United Arab Emirates, Uzbekistan and Yemen by a total of 20. However is legal in 29 countries, in all four territories, and in a few countires of Asia where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. Oceania In Oceania, homosexuality is illegal in 6 of 14 countries Kiribati, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Tonga and Tuvalu and in 1 of 12 territories Cook Islands by a total of 7. However, it is legal in 8 countries, in 11 territories and in all the countries and territories in Oceania where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. Legal Worldwide, as of September 2018, homosexuality is legal in 135 of 193 countries in the UN, in seven of nine disputed territories with the exceptions of Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic and Somaliland and in 50 of 51 territories with the exception of the Cook Islands by a total of 192. However, in various countries where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. Legal 135 countries, 50 territories and 7 disputed territories Africa 20 countries and in all 8 territories Benin Burkina Faso Canary Islands Autonomous Community of Spain Cape Verde Central African Republic Ceuta Autonomous City of Spain Democratic Republic of the Congo Djibouti Equatorial Guinea French Southern and Antarctic Lands Overseas Territory of France Gabon Guinea-Bissau Ivory Coast Lesotho Madagascar Madeira Autonomous Region of Portugal Mali Mayotte Overseas Region of France Melilla Autonomous City of Spain Mozambique Niger Republic of the Congo Réunion Overseas Region of France Rwanda Saint Helena Ascension and Tristan da Cunha Overseas Territory of the United Kingdom Sao Tome and Principe Seychelles South Africa Americas 26 countries and 21 territories Anguilla overseas territory of the United Kingdom Argentina Aruba constituent country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands Bahamas Belize Bermuda overseas territory of the United Kingdom Bolivia Brazil British Virgin Islands overseas territory of the United Kingdom Canada 
Caribbean Netherlands Bonaire, Saba and Sint Eustatius, Special Municipalities of the Netherlands Cayman Islands Overseas Territory of the United Kingdom Chile Colombia Costa Rica Cuba Curaçao Constituent Country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands Dominican Republic Ecuador El Salvador Falkland Islands Overseas Territory of the United Kingdom French Guiana Overseas Department of France Greenland Constituent Country of the Kingdom of Denmark Guadeloupe Overseas Department of France Guatemala Haiti Honduras Martinique Overseas Department of France Mexico Montserrat Overseas Territory of the United Kingdom Nicaragua Panama Paraguay Peru Puerto Rico Commonwealth of the United States Saint Barthélemy Overseas Collectivity of France Saint Martin Overseas Collectivity of France Saint Pierre and Miquelon Overseas Collectivity of France Saint Martin Constituent Country of the Kingdom of the Netherlands South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands Overseas Territory of the United Kingdom Suriname Trinidad and Tobago Turks and Caicos Islands Overseas Territory of the United Kingdom United States United States Virgin Islands Territory of the United States Uruguay Venezuela Asia 30 countries all four territories and in all four disputed territories Abkhazia disputed territory Akrotiri and Dakilia overseas territory of the United Kingdom Armenia Artsakh disputed territory Azerbaijan Bahrain British Indian Ocean Territory overseas territory of the United Kingdom Cambodia China Cyprus East Timor Georgia Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of China India Indonesia Iraq Israel Joppa N Jordan Kazakhstan Kyrgyzstan Laos Macau Special Administrative Region of China Mongolia Nepal Northern Cyprus disputed territory North Korea Palestine disputed territory Russia Philippines South Korea South Ossetia disputed territory Sri Lanka Taiwan Tajikistan Thailand Turkey Vietnam Europe all 51 countries all 6 dependencies and other territories and in all 5 disputed territories Abkhazia disputed territory Akrotiri and Dakilia overseas territory of the United Kingdom Albania Andorra Armenia Artsakh disputed territory Austria Azerbaijan Belarus Belgium Bosnia and Herzegovina Bulgaria Croatia Cyprus Czech Republic Denmark Estonia Faroe Islands constituent country of the Kingdom of Denmark Finland includes Åland Islands France Germany Georgia Gibraltar overseas territory of the United Kingdom Greece Guernsey Crown Dependency of the United Kingdom Hungary Iceland Ireland Isle of Man Crown Dependency of the United Kingdom Italy Jersey Crown Dependency of the United Kingdom Kazakhstan Kosovo disputed territory Latvia Liechtenstein Lithuania Luxembourg Macedonia Malta Moldova Monaco Montenegro Netherlands Northern Cyprus disputed territory Norway Poland Portugal Romania Russia San Marino Serbia Slovakia Slovenia 
South Ossetia disputed territory Spain Sweden Switzerland Transnistria disputed territory Turkey Ukraine United Kingdom Vatican City Oceania 8 countries and 11 territories American Samoa unincorporated territory of the United States Australia including territories of Christmas Island Cocos Keeling Islands and Norfolk Island Easter Island special territory of Chile Fiji French Polynesia overseas collectivity of France Guam unincorporated territory of the United States Marshall Islands Micronesia Nauru New Caledonia special collectivity of France New Zealand Niue part of the realm of New Zealand Northern Mariana Islands unincorporated territory of the United States Palau Pitcairn Islands overseas territory of the United Kingdom Tokelau part of the realm of New Zealand United States Minor Outlying Islands Unincorporated Territories of the United States Vanuatu Wallace and Futuna Overseas Collectivity of France Topic Africa In Africa, as of September 2018, homosexuality is legal in 20 of 54 countries Benin, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Djibouti, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Lesotho, Madagascar, Mali, Mozambique, Niger, Republic of the Congo, Rwanda, São Tomé and Principe, Seychelles and South Africa and in all eight territories Canary Islands, Ceuta, French Southern and Antarctic lands. Madeira, Mayotte, Melilla, Réunion and St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha by a total of 28. However, in a few countries in Africa where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. The Americas In the Americas, as of September 2018, homosexuality is legal in 26 of 35 countries Argentina, Bahamas, Belize, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, United States, Uruguay and Venezuela and in all 21 territories Anguilla, Aruba, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, Caribbean Netherlands, Bonaire, Saba and St. Eustatius, Cayman Islands, Curaçao, Falkland Islands, French Guiana, Greenland, Guadeloupe, Martinique, Montserrat, Puerto Rico, St. Barthélemy, St. Martin, Saint Pierre and Miquelon, St. Martin, South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands and United States Virgin Islands by a total of 47. However, in all countries in the Americas where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. Asia In Asia, as of September 2018, homosexuality is legal in 30 of 50 countries Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Cambodia, China, Cyprus, East Timor, Georgia, India, Indonesia, Iraq, Israel, Japan, Jordan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Laos, Mongolia, Nepal, North Korea, Palestine, Philippines, Russia, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Tajikistan, Thailand, Turkey and Vietnam with three exceptions in the provinces of Aceh, South Sumatra. Sumatra, and the city of Palembang applies only to Muslims in Indonesia, in Gaza, Palestine, and Chechnya, Russia where homosexuals are abducted and sent to concentration camps based on their perceived sexual orientation. See gay concentration camps in Chechnya, but is also legal in all four disputed territories Abkhazia, Artsakh, Northern Cyprus and South Ossetia and in all four territories Akrotiri and Dakilia, British Indian Ocean Territory, Hong Kong and Macau. However, a few countries in Asia where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. <inaudible> Europe 
Since 2014, homosexuality is legal in all 51 countries, five disputed territories and six dependencies and other territories of Europe, becoming in the first continent where homosexuality is legal completely. Oceania As of September 2018, homosexuality is legal in 8 of 14 countries Australia including territories of Christmas Island, Cocos Keeling Islands and Norfolk Island, Fiji, Marshall Islands, Micronesia, Nauru, New Zealand, Palau and Vanuatu and in 11 of 12 territories American Samoa, Easter Island, French Polynesia, Guam, New Caledonia, Niue, Northern Mariana Islands, Pitcairn Islands, Tokelau, United States Minor Outlying Islands and Wallace and Futuna of Oceania. However, all the countries and territories in Oceania where homosexuality is illegal the penalty is not enforced de facto and in some cases the legalization has been proposed or is pending. <laughs> <laughs> Criminal assault Even in countries where homosexuality is legal most countries outside of Africa and the Middle East, there are reports of homosexual people being targeted with bullying or physical assault or even homicide. According to the Grupo Gay da Bahia, Brazil's oldest gay rights NGO, the rate of murders of homosexuals in Brazil is particularly high, with a reported 3,196 cases over the 30-year period of 1980 to 2009 or about 0.7 cases per 100,000 population per annum. Brazilian gay group Grupo Gay da Bahia GGB reported 190 documented alleged homophobic murders in Brazil in 2008, accounting for about 0.5% of intentional homicides in Brazil homicide rate 22 per 100,000 population as of 2008. 64% of the victims were gay men, 32% were trans women or transvestites, and 4% were lesbians. By comparison, the FBI reported five homophobic murders in the United States during 2008, corresponding to 0.03% of intentional homicides homicide rate 5.4 per 100,000 population as of 2008. The numbers produced by the Grupo Gay da Bahia GGB have occasionally been contested on the grounds that they include all murders of LGBT people reported in the media. That is, not only those motivated by bias against homosexuals. Reynaldo de Azevedo, columnist of the right-wing Veja magazine, Brazil's most-read weekly publication, called the GGB's methodology unscientific, based on the above objection, that they make no distinction between murders motivated by bias and those that were not. On the high level of murders of transsexuals, he suggested transsexuals' allegedly high involvement with the drug trade may expose them to higher levels of violence as compared to non-transgender homosexuals and heterosexuals. In many parts of the world, including much of the European Union and United States, acts of violence are legally classified as hate crimes, which entail harsher sentences if convicted. In some countries, this form of legislation extends to verbal abuse as well as physical violence. Violent hate crimes against LGBT people tend to be especially brutal, even compared to other hate crimes. An intense rage is present in nearly all homicide cases involving gay male victims. It is rare for a victim to just be shot, he is more likely to be stabbed multiple times, mutilated, and strangled. They frequently involve torture, cutting, mutilation, showing the absolute intent to rub out the human being because of his sexual preference. In a particularly brutal case in the United States, on March 14, 2007, in Juanetta, Florida, 25-year-old Ryan Keith Skipper was found dead from 20 stab wounds and a slit throat. His body had been dumped on a dark, rural road less than two miles from his home. His two alleged attackers, William David Brown Jr., 20, and Joseph Eli Bearden, 21, were indicted for robbery and first-degree murder. Highlighting their malice and contempt for the victim, the accused killers allegedly drove around in Skipper's blood-soaked car and bragged of killing him. According to a sheriff's department affidavit, one of the men stated that Skipper was targeted because he was a faggot. In Canada in 2008, police reported data found that approximately 10% of all hate crimes in the country were motivated by sexual orientation. Of these, 56% were of a violent nature. 
In comparison, 38% of all racially motivated offenses were of a violent nature. In the same year in the United States, according to Federal Bureau of Investigation data, though 4,704 crimes were committed due to racial bias and 1,617 were committed due to sexual orientation, only one murder and one forcible rape were committed due to racial bias, whereas five murders and six rapes were committed based on sexual orientation. In Northern Ireland in 2008, 160 homophobic incidents and 7 transphobic incidents were reported. Of those incidents, 68.4% were violent crimes, significantly higher than for any other bias category. By contrast, 37.4% of racially motivated crimes were of a violent nature. People's ignorance of and prejudice against LGBT people can contribute to the spreading of misinformation about them and subsequently to violence. In 2018, a transgender woman was killed by a mob in Hyderabad, India, following false rumors that transgender women were sex trafficking children. Three other transgender women were injured in the attack. Recent research on university level students indicated the importance of queer visibility and its impact in creating a positive experience for LGBTIQ members of a campus community. This can reduce the impact and effect of incidents on youth attending university. When there is a poor climate, students are much less likely to report incidents or seek help. Topic. Legislation against homophobic hate crimes Members of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe began describing hate crimes based on sexual orientation as opposed to generic anti-discrimination legislation to be counted as aggravating circumstance in the commission of a crime in 2003. The United States does not have federal legislation marking sexual orientation as criteria for hate crimes, but several states, including the District of Columbia, enforce harsher penalties for crimes where real or perceived sexual orientation may have been a motivator. Among these 12 countries as well, only the United States has criminal law that specifically mentions gender identity, and even then only in 11 states and the District of Columbia. In November 2010, the United Nations General Assembly voted 79 to 70 to remove sexual orientation from the Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial, Summary or Arbitrary Executions, a list of unjustified reasons for executions, replacing it with discriminatory reasons on any basis. The resolution specifically mentions a large number of groups, including race, religion, linguistic differences, refugees, street children and indigenous peoples. Legal and police response to these types of hate crimes is hard to gauge, however. Lack of reporting by authorities on the statistics of these crimes and under-reporting by the victims themselves are factors for this difficulty. Often a victim will not report a crime as it will shed unwelcome light on their orientation and invite more victimization. Topic. Alleged judicative bias Legal defenses like the gay panic defense allow for more lenient punishments for people accused of beating, torturing, or killing homosexuals because of their orientation. These arguments posit that the attacker was so enraged by their victim's advances as to cause temporary insanity, leaving them unable to stop themselves or tell right from wrong. In these cases, if the loss of faculties is proven, or sympathized to the jury, an initially severe sentence may be significantly reduced. In several common law countries, the mitigatory defense of provocation has been used in violent attacks against LGBT persons, which has led several Australian states and territories to modify their legislation, in order to prevent or reduce the using of this legal defense in cases of violent responses to nonviolent homosexual advances. There have been several highly publicized cases where people convicted of violence against LGBT people have received shorter sentences. One such case is that of Kenneth Brewer. On 30 September 1997, he met Stephen Bright at a local gay bar. He bought the younger man drinks and they later went back to Brewer's apartment. While there, Brewer made a sexual advance toward Bright, and Bright beat him to death. Bright was initially charged with second-degree murder, but he was eventually convicted of third-degree assault and was sentenced to one year in prison. Cases like Bright's are not isolated. In 2001, Aaron Webster was beaten to death by a group of youths armed with baseball bats and a pool cue while hanging around an area of Stanley Park frequented by gay men. Ryan Cran was convicted of manslaughter in the case in 2004 and released on parole in 2009 after serving only four years of his six-year sentence. 
Two youths were tried under Canada's Youth Criminal Justice Act and sentenced to three years after pleading guilty. A fourth assailant was acquitted. Judges are not immune to letting their own prejudices affect their judgment either. In 1988, Texas Judge Jack Hampton gave a man 30 years for killing two gay men, instead of the life sentence requested by the prosecutor. After handing down his judgment, he said, I don't much care for queers cruising the streets picking up teenage boys. I put prostitutes and gays at about the same level. and I'd be hard put to give somebody life for killing a prostitute. In 1987, a Florida judge trying a case concerning the beating to death of a gay man asked the prosecutor, That's a crime now, to beat up a homosexual? The prosecutor responded, Yes, sir. And it's also a crime to kill them. Times have really changed. The judge replied. The judge, Daniel Futch, maintained that he was joking, but was removed from the case. Topic. Attacks on gay pride parades LGBT pride parades often attract violence because of their public nature. Though many countries where such events take place attempt to provide police protection to participants, some would prefer that the parades not happen, and police either ignore or encourage violent protesters. The country of Moldova has shown particular contempt to marchers, shutting down official requests to hold parades and allowing protesters to intimidate and harm any who try to march anyway. In 2007, after being denied a request to hold a parade, a small group of LGBT people tried to hold a small gathering. They were surrounded by a group twice their size who shouted derogatory things at them and pelted them with eggs. The gathering proceeded even so, and they tried to lay flowers at the monument to the victims of repression. They were denied the opportunity, however, by a large group of police claiming they needed permission from City Hall. The following year, a parade was again attempted. A bus carried approximately 60 participants to the capital, but before they could disembark, an angry crowd surrounded the bus. They shouted things like, Let's get them out and beat them up! and Beat them to death, don't let them escape! at the frightened passengers. The mob told the activists that if they wanted to leave the bus unharmed, they would have to destroy all of their pride materials. The passengers complied and the march was called off. All the while, police stood passively about 100 meters away, taking no action even though passengers claimed at least nine emergency calls were made to police while on the bus. Russia's officials are similarly averse to pride parades. Mayor of Moscow Yuri Luzhkov has repeatedly banned marches, calling them satanic. Pride participants instead tried to peacefully assemble and deliver a petition to City Hall regarding the right of assembly and freedom of expression. They were met by skinheads and other protesters, and police who had closed off the square and immediately arrested activists as they entered. As some were being arrested, other participants were attacked by protesters. Police did nothing. Around 11 women and two men were arrested and left in the heat, denied medical attention, and verbally abused by police officers. The officers told the women, No one needs lesbians, no one will ever get you out of here. When participants were released from custody hours later, they were pelted by eggs and shouted at by protesters who had been waiting. Hungary, on the other hand, has tried to afford the best protection they can to marchers, but cannot stem the flow of violence. In 2008, hundreds of people participated in the Budapest Dignity March. Police, on alert due to attacks on two LGBT-affiliated businesses earlier in the week, erected high metal barriers on either side of the street the march was to take place on. Hundreds of angry protesters threw petrol bombs and rocks at police in retaliation. A police van was set on fire and two police officers were injured in the attacks. During the parade itself, protesters threw Molotov cocktails, eggs and firecrackers at marchers. At least eight participants were injured. Forty-five people were detained in connection with the attacks, and observers called the spectacle the worst violence during the dozen years the gay pride parade has taken place in Budapest. In Israel, three marchers in a gay pride parade in Jerusalem on June 30, 2005 were stabbed by Yishai Schlissel, a Haredi Jew. Schlissel claimed he had acted, in the name of God. He was charged with attempted murder. Ten years later, on 30 July 2015, six marchers were injured, again by Yishai Schlissel when he stabbed them. It was three weeks after he was released from jail. One of the victims, 16-year-old Shira Banki, died of her wounds at the Hadassah Medical Center three days later, on 2 August 2015. 
Shortly after, Prime Minister Netanyahu offered his condolences, adding, We will deal with the murderer to the fullest extent of the law. Topic. Advocacy in song lyrics As a result of the strong anti-homosexual culture in Jamaica, many reggae and dancehall artists, such as Buju Banton, Elephant Man, Sisla, have published song lyrics advocating violence against homosexuals. Similarly, hip-hop music occasionally includes aggressively homophobic lyrics, but has since appeared to reform. Banton wrote a song when he was 15 years old that became a hit when he released it years later in 1992 called, Boom Bye Bye. The song is about murdering homosexuals and advocated the shooting of gay men, pouring acid on them and burning them alive. A song by Elephant Man proclaims, When you hear a lesbian getting raped, it's not our fault. Two women in bed, that's two sodomites who should be dead. Canadian activists have sought to deport reggae artists from the country due to homophobic content in some of their songs, which they say promote anti-gay violence. In the UK, Scotland Yard has investigated reggae lyrics and Sisla was barred from entering the United Kingdom in 2004 over accusations his music promotes murder. Gay rights advocates have started the group Stop Murder Music to combat what they say is the promotion of hate and violence by artists. The group organised protests, causing some venues to refuse to allow the targeted artists to perform, and the loss of sponsors. In 2007, the group asked reggae artists to promise not to produce music or make public statements inciting hatred against gay people. Neither can they authorize the re-release of previous homophobic songs." Several artists signed that agreement, including Buju Banton, Beanie Man, Sisla and Capleton, but some later denied signing it. During the 1980s, skinheads in North America who promoted emerging neo-Nazi pop culture and racist rock songs increasingly went to punk rock concerts that with anti-gay music advocating violence. Topic. Motivations Topic. Macho culture and social homophobia The vast majority of homophobic criminal assault is perpetrated by male aggressors on male victims, and is connected to aggressive heterosexual machismo or male chauvinism. Theorists including Calvin Thomas and Judith Butler have suggested that homophobia can be rooted in an individual's fear of being identified as gay. Homophobia in men is correlated with insecurity about masculinity. For this reason, allegedly homophobia is rampant in sports, and in the subculture of its supporters, that are considered stereotypically male. Such as football and rugby, these theorists have argued that a person who expresses homophobia does so not only to communicate their beliefs about the class of gay people, but also to distance themselves from this class and its social status. Thus, by distancing themselves from gay people, they are reaffirming their role as a heterosexual in a heteronormative culture, thereby attempting to prevent themselves from being labeled and treated as a gay person. Various psychoanalytic theories explain homophobia as a threat to an individual's own same-sex impulses, whether those impulses are imminent or merely hypothetical. This threat causes repression, denial or reaction formation. Topic. Religious Topic. Religious texts Some verses of the Bible are often interpreted as forbidding homosexual relations. Thou shalt not lie with mankind, as with womankind, it is abomination. And if a man lie with mankind, as with womankind, both of them have committed abomination, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. The above verses are the cause of tension between the devout of the Abrahamic religions and members of the LGBT community. It is viewed by many as an outright condemnation of homosexual acts between men, and, more commonly in ancient times than today, justification for violence. In Religion Dispatches magazine, Candace Chelu Hodge argues that the six or so verses that are often cited to condemn LGBT people are referring instead to abusive sex. She states that the Bible has no condemnation for loving, committed, gay and lesbian relationships, and that Jesus was silent on the subject. Topic. Christianity 
In today's society, many Christian denominations welcome people attracted to the same sex, but teach that same-sex relationships and homosexual sex are sinful. These denominations include the Roman Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox Church, the Methodist Church, and many other mainline denominations, such as the Reformed Church in America and the American Baptist Church, as well as conservative evangelical organizations and churches, such as the Evangelical Alliance, and the Southern Baptist Convention. Likewise, Pentecostal churches such as the Assemblies of God, as well as Restorationist churches, like Jehovah's Witnesses and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, also take the position that homosexual activity is immoral. Some Christian groups advocate conversion therapy and promote ex gay groups. One such group, Exodus International, argued that conversion therapy may be a useful tool for decreasing same sex desires, and, while former affiliates of Exodus continue with such views, Exodus has since repudiated the organization's mission and apologized for the pain and hurt and promoting sexual orientation change efforts and reparative theories about sexual orientation that stigmatized parents. The medical and scientific consensus in the United States is that conversion therapy is likely harmful and should be avoided because it may exploit guilt and anxiety, thereby damaging self-esteem and leading to depression and even suicide. There is a broad concern in the mental health community that the advancement of conversion therapy itself causes social harm by disseminating inaccurate views about sexual orientation and the ability of gay, lesbian and bisexual people to lead happy, healthy lives. This promotion of the idea that homosexuality is immoral and can be corrected may make would-be attackers of homosexuals feel justified in that they are doing God's work by ridding the world of LGBT people. The Catholic Church teaches that a homosexual orientation is not sinful and that LGBT people are to be treated with compassion and respect, as all others are. It also teaches that sex is meant to be had between opposite sex spouses. A 1992 letter from Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, the future Pope Benedict XVI, condemned gay bashing. It said that LGBT people have the same rights as all persons including the right of not being treated in a manner which offends their personal dignity. It adds that It is deplorable that homosexual persons have been and are the object of violent malice in speech or in action. Such treatment deserves condemnation from the church's pastors wherever it occurs. It reveals a kind of disregard for others which endangers the most fundamental principles of a healthy society. The intrinsic dignity of each person must always be respected in word, in action and in law. However, in the same letter Ratzinger suggested that anti-gay violence could be the fault of victims if they push too hard to seek equal rights, thereby absolving responsibility by those who conduct violent behavior. When civil legislation is introduced to protect behavior to which no one has any conceivable right, neither the church nor society at large should be surprised when other distorted notions and practices gain ground and irrational and violent reactions increase. Pope Benedict XVI, then the leader of the Roman Catholic Church stated that protecting humanity from homosexuality was just as important as saving the world from climate change and that all relationships beyond traditional heterosexual ones are a destruction of God's work." Pope Francis has been seen as more welcoming to LGBT people, saying to a gay man that, "...God made you like this. God loves you like this. The Pope loves you like this and you should love yourself and not worry about what people say." Evangelicals in Africa sometimes use religion to justify violence against LGBT people and criminalizing homosexual behavior. Archbishops Peter Akinola of Nigeria and Henry Orombi of Uganda would not condemn violence against gays and lesbians when questioned on the issue at the Global Anglican Future Conference. Mark Russell, chief executive of Church Army, expressed outrage over their resistance, stating, "Quite honestly, refusal to condemn violence against gay people in their home countries is disgraceful. It sullies their cause and is totally unchristian. You cannot justify violence in God's name." Period. Those who perpetrate violence against gay people in Africa now can use this silence to justify their behavior. Christians must speak up and say this is wrong. Topic: Islam. The Quran, the Book of Islam, cites the story of the people of Lot also known as the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, destroyed by the wrath of Allah because they engaged in lustful carnal acts between men. 
Scholars of Islam, such as Sheikh al Islam Imam Malik, and Imam Shafi amongst others, ruled that Islam disallowed homosexuality and ordained capital punishment for a person guilty of it. The legal punishment for sodomy has varied among juristic schools, some prescribe capital punishment, while others prescribe a milder discretionary punishment. Homosexual activity is a crime and forbidden in most Muslim majority countries. In some relatively secular Muslim majority countries such as Indonesia, Jordan and Turkey, this is not the case. The Quran, much like the Bible and Torah, has a vague condemnation of homosexuality and how it should be dealt with, leaving it open to interpretation. For this reason, Islamic jurists have turned to the collections of the Hadith sayings of Muhammad and Sunnah accounts of his life. These, on the other hand, are perfectly clear and particularly harsh. Ibn al-Jazi records Muhammad as cursing sodomites in several hadith, and recommending the death penalty for both the active and passive partners in same-sex acts. Sunan al-Tirmidhi again reports Muhammad as having prescribed the death penalty for both the active and the passive partner. Whoever you find committing the sin of the people of Lot, kill them, both the one who does it and the one to whom it is done. The overall moral or theological principle is that a person who performs such actions challenges the harmony of God's creation, and is therefore a revolt against God, though it must be noted that these views vary depending upon sect. It is noteworthy to point out that Quranists those who do not integrate the aforementioned hadiths into their belief system do not advocate capital punishment. Some imams still preach their views, stating that homosexuals and women who act like men should be executed under the Islamic law. Abu Usama at Green Lane Mosque in Birmingham defended his words to followers by saying, If I were to call homosexuals perverted, dirty, filthy dogs who should be executed, that's my freedom of speech, isn't it? Other contemporary Islamic views are that the crime of homosexuality is one of the greatest of crimes, the worst of sins and the most abhorrent of deeds. Homosexuality is considered the eleventh major sin in Islam. In the days of the companions of Muhammad, a slave boy was once forgiven for killing his master who sodomized him. The 2016 Orlando nightclub shooting was at the time the deadliest mass shooting by an individual and remains the deadliest incident of violence against LGBT people in U.S. history. On June 12, 2016, Omar Mateen killed 49 people and wounded more than 50 at Pulse Gay Nightclub in Orlando, Florida. The act has been described by investigators as an Islamic terrorist attack and a hate crime. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Judaism. In Judaism, the death penalty against homosexuality has not been used in practice for more than 2000 years, though many movements still view homosexual acts as sinful. Orthodox Judaism generally prohibits homosexual conduct. While there is disagreement about which acts come under core prohibitions, all of Orthodox Judaism puts certain core homosexual acts, including sodomy in the category of yahareg vial yavor, die rather than transgress. The small category of biblically prohibited acts also including murder, idolatry, adultery, and incest which an Orthodox Jew is obligated under the laws of self-sacrifice under Jewish law to die rather than do. See also Prejudicial attitudes Violence See also References External links Barry Yeoman, Murder on the Mountain, Out Magazine Gay Bashings in Schools A survey released in 2006 shows that gay teens still experience homophobic attacks in their schools. Pictures from Belgrade Serbian Pride Parade 30 June 2001 Abuse is not a form of love.